We had a lot of pitch clock violations on opening day, and I think, you know, you expect that. You know, you want them to go away eventually, but what we didn't expect was a base runner violation. And that's what we got here in the Mets game. McNeil's up. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to them. There's runners on the corners. Alonzo is at first, and the pitch is fouled away into the crowd. Pete's digging for second, just moving with the ball. Goes into the crowd. McNeil takes a deep breath. It's 0-1 now. Everybody's waiting. The pitcher's ready to pitch. The batter's stepping in to get ready, but he says, hey, wait. Pete's not at first. Hold up. So McNeil kind of points this out to everyone like, yeah, we're all ready to go, but he's got to get back to first. Come on now. And the umpire's like, hey, 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 none of that. That's a violation. No lollygagging on my field. So now it goes from 0-1 to 0-2, and McNeil's like, what? What did I do? What happened? A what? They're like, he did it. He did it. He's like, well, I'm just waiting for him. He's got to get back. He's like, yeah, I don't care. He, we went too slow. He's like, what? It's on him? He's like, it's on him. Pete's like, it's on me? What, I did something? Buck's going to come out and be like, what's going on? I'm just going to let him know. He took too long to get back. And Buck's going to say, he's got to get back? Yes. He got back too slow? Yes. So that's, that's two strikes I mean, on him. That's bad. Buck walks away. To, that's not in the spirit of it. Alonzo, what happens if someone gets hit? We're just going to keep going and a fan's hurt? Buck doesn't like it. But I guess technically... This is in the rule book, or it's in an article about the rules. The clock won't start until everyone is back to their position. So it's not that time ran out. It's that the umpire didn't even start the timer because he's got to wait for everyone to get set. And the pitcher was set and the batter was set, but he couldn't even start the clock because Pete wasn't back yet. Uh, the first requirement for starting the clock is that the pitcher has the ball and is on the dirt of the mound. But for instance, if a ball is fouled off down the line and the fielders run after it and potentially any base runners take Take off the clock for the next pitch will not start until everyone on the field has returned to their position. And the umpire felt like everyone else got to their position just fine, but Pete was lollygagging. Did it matter? 0-2 is a deep hole with two strikes. It could have mattered, but that's a ball. And then the next pitch, McNeil puts on the ground through the infield for a run. And Alonzo likes it, and he big old smile, because is that a hit last year? I found one. I found a similar hit last year in a similar spot. The shortstop was playing on the other side of the bag, though, so it was an easy out, whereas this one, shortstop's not playing on the other side of the bag, and they both got to dive for it, and they both miss it. And that's baseball in 2023, except hopefully all the violations go away. Everyone gets used to it. The speed of the game, the tempo of the game, the pace of the game was awesome. I love that. I don't like the violations. I want them to go away. Base runner violation. Didn't know it existed. Now we all do. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. They're going to be sponsoring a ton as we get deeper and deeper into the season and more weird stuff happens. And I am very excited for that.